2020 January 15. Daily Bread. Passage. Genesis chapter 24 verse 1 to 9. Key verse, verse 7. Title. A Wife for Isaac by Faith. Bible Passage. Abraham was now very old, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. He said to the senior servant in his household, the one in charge of all that he had, put your hand under my thigh. I want you to swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I am living, but will go to my country and my own relatives and get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, what if the woman is unwilling to come back with me to this land? Shall I then take your son back to the country you came from? Make sure that you do not take my son back there, Abraham said. The Lord, the God of heaven, who brought me out of my father's household and my native land and who spoke to me and promised me on oath, saying, To your offspring I will give this land, he will send his angel before you so that you can get a wife for my son from there. If the woman is unwilling to come back with you, then you will be released from this oath of mine. Only do not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of his master Abraham and swore an oath to him concerning this matter. Daily Bread Message 1. Go, get a wife for Isaac. It was time for Isaac to marry and have a son to whom he could pass on the covenant promises. Isaac's wife should be a woman of faith, and his marriage an event that built faith. The Canaanite culture around them was steeped in pagan religions, and the Canaanite lifestyle was godless and immoral. Abraham did not want to compromise, so he commissioned his most trusted and responsible servant to go to Padan Aram and find a wife for Isaac. 2. What if the woman is unwilling to come? The test of faith of the woman who could qualify to be Isaac's wife was that she made a decision of faith to accompany Abraham's servant back to Canaan to marry Isaac. Abraham's servant understood that his task was not easy, but he had God's promise and God's angel to help him, so he accepted the mission. The prayer. Lord, help me not to compromise with the godless culture around me, but to trust in your promises and your spirit to guide and lead me. One word. Have faith to trust God's promises and follow his leading.